Okay, we have a real treat in today's video, one of the most prolific authors and speakers on precious metals and gold is Jim Rickards. And he has a call where he predicts 15,000, in some cases going up to $50,000 an ounce for gold. And so in this video, we have our market researcher, our market analyst, and our regular guest contributor, Steve Penny, breaking down exactly how this 15,000 or 20,000, this big number gold prediction from Jim Rickards plays itself out. And so right there down below, you will see the link to sign up to Steve's free newsletter. It's called Silver Chartist. I have to tell you, it is by far the best free newsletter in investing precious metals, commodities, uranium. It's right there down below. So if you want to participate in the biggest wealth transfer in human history as the currency debasement continues, I highly suggest that you sign up to Steve's free newsletter. It's also pinned to the comments right there down below. And last but not least, be sure to hit the like button right over there on this side, right over there on this side to send this out to more people and give us your long-term gold price prediction in the comments right there down below. After you hear this all the way through, you can let us know. Do you think $15,000 gold by Jim Rickards or even dare I say $50,000 gold by Jim Rickards is a possibility? Let us know in the comments right there down below. And thank you to our channel sponsor, Vizla Silver, one of my favorite silver stocks. So thank you, Vizla, if you're looking for an addition to your mining stocks. All right, guys, Steve Penny here with another guest post on Jake's I Love Prosperity channel. First of all, I want to thank Jake for the opportunity to come on and share my thoughts with this growing community. And I want to thank you, the listener, for the kind and encouraging feedback that you guys have left on previous videos. If you continue to find value in these guest posts, let us know and we'll continue to produce them on a regular basis. So what I'd like to do today is break down Jim Rickard's $15,000 price target for gold by the year 2026. And we'll also talk about what that might mean for silver. Now, a lot of seemingly sensational price targets get thrown out for the precious metals without much, much explanation. And it's almost like some of these analysts just pull numbers out of a hat. And what we'll see here is that these are actually very logical price targets based on historical precedent and actual data. So let's go ahead and break down Jim Rickard's $15,000 price target for gold by the year 2026. So there are really three pillars to Jim Rickard's price target of $15,000 gold by the year 2026. And what we'll do is break down each of those pillars one by one, starting with the first that is based on simple historical precedent. It's often been said that history doesn't repeat, but it does often rhyme. And we can gain a lot of insight by looking into the previous two bull markets in gold that lasted from 1971 to 1980 and 1999 to the year 2011. So let's start by looking at the 1970s bull market. And what we see here is that gold returned roughly 2200% or 22x over a roughly eight year period from late 1971 to 1980. Now what's also interesting on this chart is that we've overlaid the current bull market here in red and what's really noteworthy here is just the similarity and symmetry in the pattern that it is following. And you can see that it's been said that 90% of the move comes in the last 10% of the time. And that was certainly true in the 1970s bull market. And I am personally looking for that to hold true in this current bull market. Now let's take a look at the 1999 to 2011 bull market in gold, which saw gold return roughly eightfold or 800% over a 12 year period. Now what we can do is take an average of those last two bull markets to get some price projections for the current bull market. So if you average the two, you get a 15 X return over a 10 year period. Now gold bottomed in January of 2016, and that marked the beginning of the current bull market. January 2016 and gold printed a low of $1,045. So by applying a 15x return and a 10-year bull market, that would project a $15,000 gold price in the year 2026. Now keep in mind that that would simply be a muted replay of the 1970s bull market. I personally ex expect an amplified replay, but we'll be conservative here and say that we get just an average of the previous two bull markets. Pillar number two of Jim's $15,000 plus gold price target by the year 2026 is based on the exponential growth of the total money supply. As Mike Maloney has pointed out many times, gold 100% of the time without fail always does a full accounting for the expansion of debt-based fiat currency. And what we see right now is the U.S. money supply increasing at a exponential rate that has never before been seen. Currently, 
US M1 money supply is over $4 trillion and shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, the rate of change is accelerating. So if you take $4 trillion, that's the US M1 money supply, divide it by the supposed 8,000 tons of gold that the US has in its vaults, not surprisingly, you again come up with a $15,000 price target, $15,265 per ounce to be specific. Now you can also use the broader money supply, which is measured by M2, which currently stands at over $15 trillion. And you can see the trajectory of this slope is again, only increasing. So if you take $15 trillion and divide it by the supposed 8,000 tons of gold that the U.S. supposedly has, that yields a price target of $58,953 per ounce. And keep in mind that the money supply is only continually to continually increasing. Jim also points out that using existing global money supply, a 40% gold backing and available gold supplies, the implied non-deflationary price of gold is $15,000 per ounce. And of course, that is getting higher as the money supply only expands. The third pillar of Jim's $15,000 price target for gold by the year 2026 is based on a revaluation of gold relative to the dollar in order to break the back of deflation. Jim states that the only reliable way to break the back of deflation is to devalue the dollar against gold. And what's interesting is that the Fed has been targeting this 2% inflation rate for years now and has been unable to achieve that goal at least as measured by the government statistics, which we all know are flawed when it comes to measuring inflation. Now, this was done in both 1933 and 1971. And guess what? It worked to create inflation in both cases. An 85% devaluation of the dollar would inflate away the debt burden, stimulate nominal growth, and result in a gold price of at least $15,000 per ounce, according to Jim. And I happen to agree wholeheartedly. So we can see that a $15,000 price target on gold is certainly not sensational at all. It would simply be a repeat of previous bull markets and to suggest a gold price of less than $15,000 an ounce would be to suggest a muted replay of the previous bull markets as that $15,000 per ounce is just an average of the previous two. Like I said, I personally expect an amplified replay of the 1970s bull market, and I think we could see even higher gold prices than $15,000 per ounce in the fullness of time. So while Jim talks a lot about gold, he really doesn't talk that much about silver. So let's talk about what a $15,000 gold price would mean for the price of silver. And to do that, let's examine this gold to silver ratio dating back to 1980. And what we see is that at the peak of the 1970s bull market that ended here in 1980, the gold to silver ratio reached a peak of 15 to 1. And I do fully expect for that ratio to be reached again in the fullness of time and possibly even lower. However, for our sake right now, let's be more conservative and say we only get to a 50 to 1 gold to silver ratio. And what that would mean for silver is an implied price target of $300. That $300 price target would be roughly one fiftieth the price of gold. Now, again, these targets might seem sensational, but hopefully you see that these are just logical price targets based on simple historical precedent and the actual data that we have. Now, do I expect for this bull market to unfold exactly as we just laid out here? No, of course not. However, what this does do is provide a nice roadmap with some logical price targets and help us to hopefully guide our decisions as this bull market unfolds. So hopefully you guys found this video valuable. I would encourage you to join our free e-letter that comes out every Sunday, and you can do that by visiting silverchartistreport.com. And I look forward to speaking with you guys again soon. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Okay, wow, amazing video from our regular contributor, Steve Penny. And let us know in the comments, do you think that this is a real possibility? What's your ultimate gold price prediction for five years from now, for 10 years from now, by the end of the decade? Let us know in the comments right there down below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to sign up to Steve's free newsletter right there down below. It is Silver Chartist. Like I said, it is the best free newsletter for gold, for silver, for macroeconomics, for mining stocks. He breaks down some incredible things. I have to tell you, when I signed up for it, I was absolutely floored that it was by far the best free newsletter that I'd ever seen. And so you can return the favor for Steve being a regular contributor. And if you want to learn more and help yourself navigate this greatest wealth transfer in human history, be sure to sign up for free to Steve's newsletter in the description and in the comments right there down below. Last but not least, thank you, Steve.